Sheldon Harrison. There never be no comparison. You're, You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. Man, I love that intro. Hey guys, LD MMA C. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks. So shout out to Tay Tay Brown. I was looking at Tay Tay's Instagram, and uh, you know, I saw I saw this fight. You know, I saw Luana Dread Carolina versus Wu Yanan being scheduled on the same card as Jessica Andrade versus Rose Lama Yunus. And, uh, you know, I, I remember seeing uh, Dread. I remember seeing Dread fight on Dana White's Contender Series in Brazil. And I was like, yo, you know, she, she decent. You know, she decent. And, and she was fighting against Mabeli Lima. And uh, Lima was putting a lot of pressure on this girl. Um, but, you know, Dread, Dread Carolina, you know, she handled the pressure well. And she was able to get a lot of separation off of that cage. And she was able to actually, you know, hit Mabelli with some, some really good elbows, some really good counter strikes off the cage and circle back to the center of the octagon. Where here, here rolls Wu Yanan. Wu Yanan, to be quite honest, she's not very skilled. She's not very technical. Wu Yanan is just aggressive. She's very aggressive. And she got a chin. And her whole strategy in every fight is just to come straight ahead. That's Wu Yanan. She don't... There's no rhyme or reason with what she do. Wu don't use any jabs. She don't do anything. She don't use any teeth kicks, no leg kicks to set anything up. Wu barrel straight ahead. That's good and bad because eventually your chin gonna run out. Wu Yanan is one of them fighters that she gonna get hit by somebody hard. Like somebody gonna hit her as hard as they can and she gonna feel it and she gonna get cracked. Wu literally uses her head as a damn punching bag. That's what she do. But... When I say all of this, and I say this because Wu, she keeps the pressure constantly on you. And a lot of her opponents, they get frustrated, man, because they can't get this girl up off of her. Like, no matter what they do, no matter how hard they hit her, she's still right there. Like, I saw Wu completely go in there and get her ass handed to her by Gina Mazzani. I'm talking about Gina Mazzani beat the brakes off of Wu Yanan. Wu Yanan's still right there. And I'm like, I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. I can't see. I don't understand why this girl is not physically out. Okay, I, I don't understand. But, you know, she's still, she's right there. And the thing of it is, you know, Gina Mazzani won the fight easily. But I tell you what, you ask Gina Mazzani, I guarantee if you ask her, Gina not going to tell you that was an easy fight. It's a tough fight, man. And she keeps coming. Um, Wu is not prone to take the fight to the ground, okay? I, I can't see that happening. I can't see her literally trying to get this fight over to the ground. But I can see her trying to press uh, uh, Dredd Carolina up against that cage. And I've seen Dredd, she had issues with Lima. You know, and issues with a lot of her opponents. Even the first opponent, the one girl she knocked out. I forgot her name. I think her name is what? Uh, Jessica Negro. Okay, or Jessica Negro. I think that's how you pronounce it. She kept trying to put Luana up against that cage. And it was effective for a while. And so I think that they're going to look at I think they're going to look at some of her opponents, especially the Mabelli Lima fight. And they're going to try to get an idea, like put her against the cage. That's Wu's strategy. That's what Wu does. Wu don't do anything else except for take her opponents and put them against the cage. That's it. Well, Carolina, she's susceptible to that. And that might be a problem. Now, if I'm Luana, if I'm Luana Carolina, I'm going to look at the Gina Mazzani fight. Because Gina Mazzani did exactly what you're supposed to do against somebody who keeps trying to press you against the cage. Gina Mazzani wasn't playing. Gina deliberately was going to that body. Every time Gina Mazzani had her back on the cage, Gina Mazzani started putting knees to the body. Every time Gina Mazzani had her back against the cage, Gina started slipping the quick elbows and rotating back to the center or rotating her hips around and getting uh, Wu Yanan back against the cage. See, Gina Mazzani did exactly what you got to do. And if I'm Luina Carolina's camp, I'm watching that Gina Mazzani fight as many times as I can. Because Wu, she's very predictable, but she's just right there. No matter how hard you hit this woman, she's still there. She's still right there. So they're going to have to find a way to deal with the pressure or Wu is going to get in there and just try to maul Carolina to death. And, you know, we don't want that. I think Luana uh, Dred Carolina has a lot of potential. I mean, she's only 25. She's only 25. She's very heavy in Muay Thai. And that's my only concern, you know, is... You know, is she working on the other parts of her game, such as the ground game? Um, I just, I don't see much of a ground game from Dred Carolina. I don't see much. I've seen a ground game from Wu, and Wu actually does have good jujitsu, But Wu just chooses not to use it. Like, she fights in this reckless-ass style. And I'm telling y'all, man, somebody gonna clip Wu, somebody gonna knock her out. Carolina got enough power to do it. And she's not like a one-hitter quitter. You know, she, she got a nice jab. 
and she can set you up with that jab and then come back over top with that right hand. That's what the winner Carolina is very good at. And uh, also too, man, guys, trying to kick her in the legs is not going to work. This girl can check a kick like like no other. She can check kicks. She's very good at that, but that's because of that Muay Thai background. You know, you got to check kicks. But um, right now, to me, it's too early for me to really give a prediction. If I had, if I really, really had to think about it, who I think will win this fight right now, I would probably say Luana Carolina probably could win the fight. But, you know, I, I don't know, man, because you don't know what version of Wu Yunnan going to come. Are we going to get the Wu Yunnan that's, that's really, you know, getting our shots off while you're against that cage? Or are we going to get the Wu Yunnan who's just using her damn head as a punching bag to come straight in? I mean, we don't know. Okay, we have no idea. But I tell you what, though, this, it's going to be a good fight. Okay, it's going to be a good fight. You guys tell me what you think about this. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Support the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.